say that I inspire them, but I don't think I've done anything different than any other mom or dad would do. A Lafayette mother speaks out about a near drowning years after her crusade to make ponds in our area safer. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nicole Kahn. Jeff Smith has the evening off. It's been 15 years since Kathy Shedd lost her son in a drowning. Kristen Mayorano has more on what Shedd had to say after a near drowning in Lafayette last week. Kristen, what can you tell us? Nicole, it's definitely been a tough week for Kathy Shedd, who says she's been thinking about the family of nine-year-old Trevor Howe. Trevor was found unconscious in a pond in Armstrong Park on Thursday, and Shedd spent a decade fighting for stricter regulations of retention and detention ponds after her own young son died in 1995. Someone asked me to describe what it was like after losing a child, and I said, it's like a tornado. Everything you ever knew. I mean, a tornado inside, everything you ever knew will never be the same. Lafayette mother Kathy Shedd says she turned that tornado into a crusade, fighting for new regulations of area ponds. In 2005, those regulations were changed, but Shedd says it's still hard every time a child gets injured by water. We've had a lot of near misses in Tippecanoe County. We've lost other kids and other bodies of water. Now Shed says she's been having flashbacks of Michael for days ever since nine-year-old Trevor Howe was found in this detention pond here in Armstrong Park. I thought I did the best I could when I got the laws changed. <clears throat> and at that time they told me that the ponds that were grandfathered in um, there wasn't anything that we could do about it. The Armstrong Park Pond was one of those that was grandfathered in. Although the city of Lafayette has plans to retrofit the pond and make it comply with as many of the new regulations as possible, Shed says it may be too little too late. The fight's never left me. I did all that I... I did the best that I could. It wasn't good enough. She says she wants to see as many ponds upgraded as possible and she leaves one message for members of the community. And a lot of people are pointing blame at the parents. And I can tell you, they're going through hell. And that's not going to solve the problem. And they need our support as a community. I wish I could send them hugs and protect them. Officials at Riley Children's Hospital say they cannot release any information on Trevor's condition. Kathy Shedd says she's received word from a family member that his prognosis is not good. Kristen Mayorano, News Channel 18.